Hello, this is David DeMarco with DeMarco Gaming, and uh, this is just um, a quick how-to video on how to set up Dragonbone Battlers inside of uh, RPG Maker MZ and using the Yanfly Visual Stella plugins. Okay, so um, the plugins, first you can get uh, anything that's in Tier 1 is basically free through Visual uh for uh visual zilla um the dragon bones uh will come with their dragon bones plugin which is a paid uh add-on so if you're paying for this add-on uh then you can go ahead and use this to set it up this is just a plugin that is going to point it towards uh the uh the required version of dragon bones in order for it to work and then um, you'll also need the actual uh, Dragon Bones Union, which is what uh, Visual Stella created and set and uh, set up for everybody. And um, at that point, um, you're ready to actually uh, deal with the Dragon Bones and then adjust the settings. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at where you can download that. And if you go to um itch.io this is something i just had to uh to get used to because um not something i normally bought stuff through um you can actually go to uh i don't know if you can see e k a s h i c s dot itch dot i o and um, he actually makes, he or she, uh, makes a bunch of battlers. Um, they, uh, this person has a uh, ultra pack right here that you can download. It is uh, free for use for commercial and um, personal use. So um, you can download that and it has a, a whole bunch of, uh, of the uh, Dragon Bones battlers. Um, and then uh, he, uh, you could also look on here for any others that you want. The rest are going to be kind of a, a sell item or he'll have like see animated dragon bones, make a pack. Um, these uh, could have uh, additional or it could be a break apart of what he had down in the mega pack. So just kind of take a look around and see what might fancy your, uh, your game. Okay, and uh, you can also uh, go to his terms of use, his or her terms of use. Um, and according to this, it's in uh, any game engine is okay. Commercial use is okay. Non-commercial use is okay. You can also edit it for your project. That means that if you are an artist, you can actually edit and change and color and do all those kinds of things. So if you're... Um, if you're finding that, uh, you know, you feel comfortable doing so in like, uh, um, Adobe premiere or not Adobe premiere, Adobe Photoshop, um, or, uh, uh, anything like that, you can go ahead and edit it. Just make sure that you, uh, you do put him in the credits as the initial source and that you edited the source. Keep in mind, he does. Uh, he or she says that it is not redistribution of this content, so not allowed. Don't give it to anybody. Don't sell it to anybody. Even if you alter it, it is his or hers. Okay. So there may be other people around who are doing dragon uh, dragon battlers. Uh, you can also buy from them. Um, and if you feel, uh, you can also just download Dragon uh the actual software it's a dragon battler software right here dragon bones pro and uh, that'll allow you to actually build your own by taking an image breaking it apart telling it where your your swing points are and that kind of thing and uh building your own dragon bones uh battlers okay so now that we have uh found the product that we're looking for so like i said you can just go here or click on the link here um this is going to give you a whole bunch of stuff so you click on download now and you don't have to pay anything because uh he's giving this to you for free this is like a tip 
and um you can support him or um if you just want to try it out for right now you don't even know if it's going to be useful for you uh go ahead and click no thanks take me to downloads and then you're going to see static dragon bone three frame and mv formatted animated battlers so this is for mv you're looking for this this is a dragon bone setup so you click download and it'll go into your downloaded folder okay so as you can see, I've already uh, downloaded it and it comes as a zipped file. You will have to unzip it. So let's go ahead and unzip that real quick. I already did this. It's uh, how to use terms of use. So um, each one of these is a battler that is all zipped up. So you will have to unzip each one of these uh for this use i'm just going to go ahead and show you what the unzipped version looks like okay so let's go ahead and we're going to exit out of here okay so open up the database because we're going to be using this in a minute and we also want to oh i guess i'll have to switch back and forth to show you how this is going to work so these are all the dragon bones battlers and so i've already created a folder but what you will have to do is actually go to your project folder whatever you're calling it um and you're going to create a folder called dragon bones assets underscore assets so it'll look like this right here okay once you create this folder you're going to take the uh librium uh, dragon bones animation that's going to be all the stuff that's going to be in here that you uh that you broke down from uh, the zip file okay and you're gonna go see that's all these um and then you're gonna take them and you're gonna into the dragon bones assets now important it's going to have four different files all named like afadiral um this all four of them have to go in here this is a texture file it's going to tell you the uh, system how it's going to be colored and stuff like that uh this is the scripting of the texture file so this is the picture this is the script Okay, then you're also going to have the settings. The important part of the settings is you need to take this and copy these settings into the note tags of each one of your enemies. So, for instance, we're going to take, uh, we'll say, uh, Aphrodel. Okay, and right now we'll go into the database. We're going to go to enemies. You're going to type in number one. You type in the name right here. This is the name of your enemy. Okay, there will be no picture because it is not in the uh, the folder for uh, uh, images or for actors. So if you want a picture of it to kind of give you an idea of uh, what the enemy looks like, you need to take a picture of it and stick it inside that folder in order for it to show up. But by default, you're going to have a blank here. Don't fret. It is there. It's just not going to show. Okay, so then here is your note tag for your enemy okay all of that information that we had in here under the notes under the settings you're going to just take this you can just click over here or you can open this up control a control c and then you come back over here and then you're going to uh, just control v paste it all now important your battler is going to be the size of a building inside the game. Um, so here's an ancient automation, automatron, I mean. Uh, so if we were to just go ahead and battle test this real quick. See, uh, 
the battery is the size of a bird. Um, obviously, in your really tiny So, uh, on a boss fight, that's probably going to be the way you want You want to see kind of menacing. Um, if you're running across a rabbit the size of a house, uh, you know, you're probably going to you're gonna get some books. Okay, so um, what I did is under Aphrodel, um, under the enemies. Okay, you're going to see scale X and Y. This is going to shrink from the X direction and the Y direction your uh, your battler. So um, by default, I believe it's uh, one. Um, I put it down to 0.45 on Aphrodel, and I'll show you the difference. So uh, before we did the Ancient Automaton, now we're going to do Aphrodel and Battle Test. Okay, so now you see it's more of a, a doable size. So your enemy, the bad one. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, you can system in here because it doesn't read the JavaScript from the plugin. I, I think that's a. Uh, so I'll show you inside the game itself. I've set up a uh, an event that will trigger uh, that particular troop. Okay, so. Scroll over and but anyway, so as you can see when they do it, they count down and uh, they're not static, they're actually dragon bone is going to have a breathe effect and it's going to have a pack and it's going to take a damage effect and there's a death in it. So all of these things are already programmed in there for you. And so there's a couple more things I want to show you on this that is uh, basic to this. And then anything beyond that is going to be a modification that you can do if you feel comfortable with it. Otherwise, uh, just stick to the basics of, you know, doing the uh, putting them in here and using them as they are and scaling them accordingly. Now. These are your animations. So these are what tells the uh, the system what animation that that battler is going to have, whether it's going to be idle, attack, damage. And uh, some would have a death animation. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a death animation for the, uh, uh, see, dead animation for is just damage. So that may be something you want to do. Take the battler, uh, kind of break it into pieces, have it fall apart, and make that your death animation. But it is going to take a little bit of work. And obviously, um, depending on how many enemies you're going to have in the game, you're going to have to do that for each and every enemy because uh, they're not making the death animation on that. Okay? But when he dies, he does disappear and die. He dis you know, he doesn't have a death animation like grasping in his chest and falling over dead. Um, so those are things that you can change if you wanted uh, like a victory. You can make a victory pose with the battler and he can like, you know, be throwing a spike in the air or something like that. Um, or juggling a, a flaming baton or whatever, you know, the uh, the battler is. But um, these are all things that you can change. If you wanted an idle animation on something else, let's say he's chanting and you want to be idle or something, then you can do that. You can just remove the attack and you put, uh, put idle, or you can do a magical attack and you take attack a, and you put a magical attack or whatever, um, you are putting in here for those. Now, um, uh, here you have the variable motions. Here's sword stab, slash, upraised, shield strike, damage is idle. So these are all going to be effects and stuff on how the, it targets and, and uh, fights. Uh, these are your four attacks. So, um, and the damage and the idle animation. So like I said, if you were to create something else, 
you might have to uh, modify this in some way. Okay, so that's where I'm going to take you over here to the plugin. Okay, and under the Dragon Bones plugin, which is obviously this is a, a copyrighted thing with Visual Stella, so uh, it is a paid for one, and you do need to uh, to buy that. But um, this is where you're going to set the uh, assets path in order for it to find those Dragon Bones. Uh, uh, attackers you're gonna put it in there dragon bones assets okay and uh the dot represents the root folder so that means that the project folder that the game system is stored in that's the dot so then it's dot slash next folder slash and then if you're in another folder slash okay um general settings these are going to be the, uh, see, you have the walk, wait, uh, looping animations, walk, uh, idle, walk, wait, chant, guard, dying, abnormal, sleep, dash, ladder, rope. These are all animations that you can use. Um, so this is the skeletal data. This is what I was telling you earlier. The SKE JSON it has to be in there. The text is the texture data has to be in there and then the png is the actual picture asset that has to be in there the settings does not have to be in there but if you ever change the settings and maybe you modified something and you didn't uh, like it but you don't remember what it was before you can go back to the default setting by going uh, those settings in that folder so there's no reason to put uh, not put those in the folder um, but your loaded animation you can change it to from idle to whatever walk wait whatever okay so those are all general settings the battler settings are going to be your offset that's going to move the battler around the the uh, screen um so in a boss fight you're probably going to be moving that around to try to fit him in the screen properly and then uh flip uh so if you're mirroring them or anything like that uh for confusion maybe uh confusion they turn around they just stand uh, facing away from the enemy. Um, so these are all the, the defaults. Okay. And then uh, obviously this is the, uh, the sprite uh, information. So the height is 48. Um, these are pixels that they're talking about. Um, motion is idle. Walk is walk. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So. These are all things that you can play with. It also gives you over here in the introduction and uh, down through the script, it's going to give you a lot of information on this and it'll tell you exactly how to go through and set up if you want to go deeper into it. Uh, this is just a how-to video on how to get it set up and working. Um, like I said, keep in mind that if you, uh, if you want to test the battler, you need to set up an event. Um, and just uh, create a battle processing and you just go we'll just delete this i'll show you real quick new battle processing it's under number three and then direct does uh this uh, yeah um you're gonna select the enemy tongue-tied right now and then you go ahead and you can select if they can escape or if they can lose or whatever, but you can just set it as normal. Um, and then this is a battle setup. So this one will not error when you start the battle. Unfortunately, if you're going through the database, it will error if you're testing the battler. So you have to test it by two. But um, for now, uh, that's everything you need to know to set up your Dragon Battlers and get them working in your uh, RPG Maker MZ project. Uh, if you like the video, please press like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more how-to videos with RPG Maker and other things. And uh, I'd love to hear any feedback. So uh, please uh, put it in the comments and try to be nice about it. I know there are some trolls out there, but... Uh, uh, I'm uh, trying to build this uh, channel up and I, I really want to hear from you guys. All right. So thank you all so much.